Yeah, so hi guys and welcome to RG Handhelds uh, once again. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I just wanted to touch base on a handheld that has not really had much success uh, due to the lack of software. Um, but I wanted to touch base on it for a particular reason. Is I think this handheld is like one of the best well-made handhelds out there. Uh, it's just the feel and the quality of the device. Uh, it's very much on par with the uh, GKD Mini that's just been released. Um, I do have one of them as well uh, to compare it with. But the reason for uh, the mention of this device is uh, basically uh, we have EMU Elec running on it. Um, to be honest... You'll never see EMU Elec released on this device um, because it's not supported by the dev. Um, I'm not too sure the reasons behind it, but I presume he don't have a device, so obviously he won't support it, which is fair enough. Um, I've managed to get it work, but I will not release this, uh, never will. Um, it's just a proof of concept that it does work. Um, as you can see, everything is there. All the controls seem to be working along with the uh, analog stick, uh, LR and the back buttons. Uh, we can just get to the about screen. I can just show you. Here we go, system information you can see there latest version 4.1 um, it's a shame really because it's such a lovely device uh, had a bit of issues with the SPI uh, it's the SPI on this device is locked down uh, that basically means um, you can only use uh, their own Im images but uh, we've managed to unlock the SPA on the device uh, so we can flash any other OS but then again your controls get messed up so you've got to create your kernel to allow you to use the keys correctly um, which we have managed to do as you can see uh, we can go ahead and do a quick test uh, where are we so let's just check these keys there you go just flicking through the games. I just want to try something simple. And there's nothing more simpler than the old Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, this comes in a plastic and metal version. This obviously being the metal. Like I say, it didn't really sell well because of the software side of things. Uh, I don't think it ever will sell well unless uh, EMU Elec officially gets released on the device. Um, I can't see that happening to be honest, but then again. So let's give this a quick blast and just uh, show you guys. All the keys are mapped correctly, as you can see, joystick. The D-pad on this device is actually really good. Uh, nice and firm. Accurate. Diagonals are good. Uh, which you need in a D-pad. And the handheld is pretty uh, comfortable to uh, hold as well. Screen's good. It's got a good weight to it. Uh, Say so it's very similar to the new GKD Mini. Uh, that runs an open Dingux firmware. There you go. And then to exit, just hold these two down. Press them twice like you do. And then exit out of that. I'm not put much on it, but I just wanted to show you guys that it's a shame really what can be done. Um... 
I hope they really do send a device to uh, the EMU elect dev because uh, he's done such great hard work um, on EMU elect. Uh, and if this gets official port, it will be amazing. But like I say, I will not release it or because it's not my software to do so. Uh, but it works. Let's just hope uh, he gets a device. And thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.